Hello, hello my friends. Welcome back to day four of our new catalog video walkthrough. Um, each day this month, well, through the 15th, I am doing a new video featuring new goodies from the brand new Stampin' Up! annual catalog. I'm so excited about this catalog. It's a much uh, refreshed layout and lots and lots of fun. So I'm super excited to be sharing some of the stuff with you. And we thought the best way to do that here at By the Shore Stamping was to do some video creating for you. And I say we, because although today I'm on my own, uh, in future videos, you, we may have a little guest. So look forward to that. We might have my Cape Cod crack Cowboy coming to create with us later this month. So be sure to be, keep watching for when he might pop up but today I'm gonna to showcase my very favorite suite in this catalog it was the one that drew my attention right away and I have had lots of fun playing with it one bundle over another a little bit because I love um, one of them a little bit more but I love both of them so country woods suite collection is what this is called this is kind of the two page spread show showcasing the product line but let's flip this over so you can see what's actually in this mega suite. So we've got the Country Birdhouse bundle, which I love. And then we've got the Country Flowers bundle. This is my favorite. I've been playing a lot with this one and I love it. Uh, it also has some embellishments, a embossing folder, a ribbon duo, and then two packs of paper, you guys. So this is a huge collection and it's beautiful. So let me start by showing you the paper in real life, as we say. So this is the country lace paper and I've already got it cut up because I was prepping for um, paper share card camp, which is coming soon. So you can see this one's very lacy, feminine, sort of mellow. Just lots of like prints and patterns. So that's that one. I think I'm missing a piece. Let's see. Because there was only five. Was it that? No, it wasn't that one. I don't know. I think they're all here, maybe. It might have been this one, actually. So yeah, that's the last one. So that's the Country Lace. It's 12 by 12 paper. You get two each of six designs for a total of 12 sheets of paper. Then next up, it's Country Woods is what this one is called. And you can see I've already been kind of playing with this one a little bit. But very fun, sort of woodsy vibes, right? So you can see some realistic wood, some sort of like manufactured looking odd colored wood so they're obviously not oh this is in the wrong place this is the one that's in the other collection there we go so you can see very fun patterns on the paper um what else do we got yeah i think we saw most of those there you go so that's the two papers and then we have the two stamp sets or bundles i should say We've got Country Birdhouse with the coordinating dies. Let me show you those. This is what we'll be playing with tomorrow. But today we're going to do the other one. Love this. So much fun. There's so many pretty cards already on the internet for this one. And I think you guys will like that one a lot too. And it's different, which I like. And then there's this one, Country Flowers, which I love playing with this one. We're gonna make a card with this today. This is kind of our focus today. I actually have some other projects to show you too at the end, so be sure to hang out so you can see all my samples. I've been creating up a storm up here. So there's that, that's that bundle. So you get two full bundles in this suite. And then we have the Smoky Slate and Basic Gray Pearls. Love these, super versatile because they're very um, neutral tones. You can use them with anything. And I feel like they'll be really great for masculine projects. Then there's this awesome, embossing folder which I've been playing with quite a bit so you've probably already seen it in some of the in color stuff and and all of that I even previewed some of it in my bird's eye view class last month and then two ribbons petal pink and basic white uh, so those are really pretty too so let's go ahead and create a project so I have some stuff cut here already but I actually had this left over, so I think I'm gonna use it, but I have an idea of how we're going to use that. So first, um, I cut one of these because I just thought that was really pretty. It's one of my favorite pieces of paper. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna put that down flat right on the card base to start. And then we're gonna do some coloring. And I took the Stampin' Blends markers 
uh, the colors from the back of the pattern paper, this pattern paper, the woods. So on the back of the pattern paper packs, it lists all the colors that are in the paper. So I grabbed the markers that coordinate with the paper. All right, so then I think I'm gonna do this and then this, yeah, this. I was gonna do this side, but I feel like that makes it too busy. So I think I'm gonna do this side um, just to kind of tone it down a little bit. But I feel like there's gonna be some ribbon or texture on there. But first, let's do some stamping. I'm gonna stamp the little teapot image. And I'm gonna die cut that out. Actually, I'm gonna try and keep this so that it's skinny enough that I can run it through my mini. It'll be easier. Let me ink this up. And we'll put that right there. Hopefully that's enough room on the side for me to cut it out. And then I'm gonna just cut this down to three inches wide because that's the um, the largest width you can do for um, the mini die cutting machine. And then I'm just gonna stamp the sending love. I think we're just gonna do that on white, but we'll see. So I'll stamp that. If I need another color, I'll grab that after. But let's grab the die cutting machine. This is our mini stamp and cut and emboss. And I'm gonna take the country flowers dies and we'll cut this and I think it's this one. So we'll grab those. There's one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it at the same time. We'll see, they're really close. There's, yeah, I don't know that I'm going to be able to. But it's really, really close. Maybe. I keep knocking it just a little bit. My hand's all shaky, which isn't helping. There we go. All right, let's see. Whoops. This is slightly askew. I probably should do these singly, but I'm going to be lazy and try and do it all at once. Oh, that one's going to move. Let's do one at a time. Make sure we get them lined up right. There we go. This is where it would be handy to have your little washi tape. All right. So I'm going to do that. Then we'll put it back through for this. All right, get that lined up, and we'll put that through. Hopefully it stays put. Okay, and now we can, whoops, we have butterfingers over here. We can pull that out, and we're going to do a little bit of coloring. Like I said, I'm just pulling the colors directly from the paper, so... We'll use that. I'm gonna use crumb cake for my pot. Usually I do it in the gray, but because the paper is kind of woodsy, it's got lots of browns and neutrally tones in it, so I'm gonna do the brown. And honestly, I mean, this part is probably easier just to use my large paintbrush here. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead, color that in. The paintbrush size I just feel is better for like large swaths of coloring versus like these smaller areas. And I'm just laying down the light first. So this is light crumb cake. When you order the Stampin' Blends markers, you get the light and the dark version. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add a little bit of shading in here. We'll make this dark. We'll kinda darken that up. We'll darken this up. We'll do the arm, or handle I should say. And maybe a little bit down here. And over like that. And I might do a little bit up here too. 
All right, and then I'm gonna go back with the light and we're just gonna kinda blend things in a little bit so it's not quite so stark. And then I was on an incentive trip a few years ago, quite a few years ago now, that one of the girls that was there was really good at coloring. And she said one of the tricks to making it look lifelike is to leave like a little circle of more light in the middle like that. So that's what I'm going to do there. Just gives it a little more realistic. And then I'm, I am going to go back like in the few spots where it's like definitely supposed to be darker. Just add a little bit more dark. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to color this one. And I'm going to do, um, there's no real green in the paper. So I'm taking the soft sea foam to use for the leaves. So I'm going to just use this really light, whoops, I always do that. That's actually the flower and I always color it with green. I get a little rambunctious. A little overzealous. Here we go. So now I'm going to do all of these little leaves in the light green, soft sea foam. And then um, I'm going to do, whoops, this doesn't want to stay put. There we go. I'm going to use the darker color for this one. We'll make it more succulent color. It looks like a succulent to me. You could add a little pink in there too to get it like a real true succulent color, right? Because those are usually like green and pink. But the pink in here is petal pink, which might be a little too light. And I think flirty flamingo would be too bright, even the light one. I'm trying to think what other pink we could do. All right, so there's that. And then I'm gonna use the Light Misty Moonlight, which is again, one of the colors in the paper. I'm gonna color these little flowers blue. I'm just kind of using the, the light color first. I love coloring. I think that's why I love this stamp set so much. I just find it so relaxing. Although not as much so when I'm doing it on video because I always feel like it's too slow. That's why like, I like, I love doing scrapbooking, but I've not been able to figure out how to do scrapbooking videos that aren't like an hour long that I don't have to edit heavily because I don't really like editing videos. That's why when I first started doing them, I just let them roll and whatever happens, happens, which is how Thursday Throwdown came about. It's how, you know, um, I just was able to start doing videos to begin with because I don't like the video, pro the editing process. But with scrapbooking, it's a lot harder <laughs> to do without editing. But I would love to do some more scrapbooking videos for you. And I might have one in, up my sleeves at least in this series because there's some new product that I'm super excited to use in my scrapbooks. So I'll be sharing that. But... If you have certain things or you would like me to do scrapbooking videos, feel free to share below what would be most helpful for you. All right, I'm just darkening the insides of these flowers with the dark misty moonlight. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the large flower. I'm gonna actually just go right to the dark petal pink because this one's so light that I'm just gonna go dark and then what's really great about the stamp and blends is once you give it a second to kind of dry a little bit you can go back and add some more color to make it a little bit darker like I'm gonna take the light again and just go over these leaves again because it is so so light I don't want it to be as dark as that but I'd like a little more color there it looks like they're not even colored so I'm just gonna add a little bit more color into there, there. And then I actually may do the same with, this one just does not like to cooperate. I'm gonna do the same with the dark, just cause I want it to be a little bit darker. 
than the other one. I want there to be like some color different, differentiation between what I'm calling the succulent and what is the leaves. So we'll just add, layer on a little bit more color here. Okay, there, so now you can see some differentiation and I'm gonna go back with my dark and just kind of color that in. Okay, and then I did pull the pool party for this one. And we'll just do light pool party here. And then we can do dark pool party on the outer edge. Or the outer petals, I should say. Like that. Perfect, I'll do that way. All right, so you can see that's kind of very subtly colored, but I like it. So now we're gonna go ahead and start to put this together. So my idea is to put this little um, container of flowers on the, t on the table, which I love, okay? So I wanna also, I think I'm gonna pop this panel up and maybe tie ribbon around this. So let's use the I don't know, should we do the pink? No, I think I'm gonna do the white because there's a lot going on here, so I want it to kind of be a little more neutral. So I'm gonna use the white ribbon if I can get it off. There we go. And I'm gonna just tie probably just a knot because I don't, again, I don't want it to be too crazy. Ooh, this ribbon's like really silky. All right, so let's see. Yeah, we'll do it on this side. So I wanna make sure it's not twisted, which it is. So I'm gonna untwist that. And I don't think I gave myself enough for a bow and that might be much anyway. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I can do it. No, it's kinda of small, so we'll just do, I didn't really think ahead. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it, but a bow would be cute, but it's kind of thick ribbon. So we'll just do a little knot here like that. Okay. There and there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on with some dimensionals. So we can go ahead and flip this over, add some dimensionals. We got the minis handy still, so that's what we're gonna use. Just means I need to use a few more. There, tend to go a little overboard. I don't like it when it's set. All right, so I'm gonna take these off. Come on. There, okay. And then I'm gonna kind of put it off to the side a little bit. That, make that straight. Okay. And then this, I'm gonna probably put on with some dimensionals as well, just because the ribbon under there is gonna make it um, kind of lifted. So we don't want it to be bumpy. If we don't put the dimensionals, then it's gonna have like a big bump in where the um, paper goes over the ribbon. If that makes sense. I'm going nuts here. Oops, got one on my finger there. All right, so let's take those off. This would be so much easier if I had my larger dimensionals, but I don't know where they are. And I've just been a creating fool, you guys. I'll have to post the picture of all of the projects I've made for these videos, because it's kind of insane. And um, I'm doing a lot of it before before we headed off to Mexico, so. All right, so now I'm gonna put this down flat, uh, I think. Yeah, I probably should put all of this down flat, except for maybe the flowers, so I'm gonna just tape these down flat, just because we've got so much bulk on the card already. I did run um, a little bit of pecan pie ink over that. Oh, and you know what I wanted to do with this? I was going to 
stamp mark it fresh on this but you know what I might end up putting the sentiment right across the middle of this so that'll be fine so I'm going to do that and then we'll add some mini dimensionals to this one there we go and then we'll pop this on top maybe add some wink of Stella and some bling oh I'm gonna do the sentiment let's put it like that okay and then I've got some wink of Stella we can add to the flowers you do want to be careful because the wink of Stella can add or act as a water coloring agent so like if you started with the dark blue and then went to the lighter colors it can bring some of that darkness see into the other stuff so just be careful on that let me grab the iridescent pearls again you could use the gray pearls but well let's look here maybe the smoky slate ones where did I put those they're kind of large I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna go with the white ones they're a little smaller so I'm gonna put just one in there I think and maybe one in here Oop. I don't know why I'm not using my take your pick tool at the moment and actually I might just because I want three and not two I'm gonna put one right there too there we go so there's that now we just gotta do the sentiment which I already stamped but I think I'm gonna fussy cut it because I don't want it to take up the whole thing so I'm gonna just cut this straight I could use my trimmer I probably should use my trimmer but I'm not gonna and then I'm gonna fussy cut the rest of this maybe there we go whoops come on get back in there there we go like that um, All right, I probably should have done this beforehand, you guys, but it's okay. Just hang with me, we're just about there. So now I'm gonna just go around the bend with this and then try and do like a straight run to the end here, like that. And then we'll just snip that. This is a little too harsh, so I'm going to kind of round it. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to just go ahead and put that on. I think I'm going to put it on flat with some liquid glue. It'll just be easier. So we'll use, whoops, oh, that was a big blob. Yikes. I'm going to spread it out here. Come on. Here we go. All right. So there's that. Whoops. And we'll put that right about there. And there you have it. There is our finished project. Super cute, right? You want to see some more? So these are, um, like I said, some of my very favorite projects. I love this stamp set. So here's another one that I made. I used the little eyelet looking stamp in the background on that one. I did on this one as well. So there's the eyelet embossing folder and then I repeated that on the background, did some coloring. I added the flower market to that one and used that same sentiment. Then I have this one. Love the color. So I kind of highlighted the 
new in colors with this one and then added in granny apple green which works fantastic with the new in colors and then did a bright fun bold card here with that berry burst so we got some uh, wink Estella on there too I don't know if you can see that in the video but really really pretty so those are the cards so far that I've made with this one this one I think I might have to do a class with just because I love it so much and it's just so much to fun so much fun to play with especially if you love to color so there you have it that is today's video I'm so glad you joined me again we will be back tomorrow for um, the other half of this sweet collection so as I said we've got the country flowers bundle which is what I used today and then tomorrow we'll use the country birdhouse so thank you so much for watching have a great day and we'll see you again soon bye for now